Nebraska, not Nebraska. Bismarck, North Dakota. We went up this morning at uh, uh, seven. Seven ish. Seven ish. Last night when we were chilling, kicking back, relaxing, uh, some dude tried to break into cars. We chased him around. <laughs> yeah, we were chasing down a bad guy. Yeah, never caught him. No. But we weren't worried about it because there's just some real big guy that was from uh, yeah. Ohio. <laughs> so. So then we got this morning left about seven. It's funny how a little local crime spree will bring the neighbors together. Right, yeah. So we left about seven, supposed to have a little bit of rain. We took off, got some sprinkles from about the first hundred miles. Yep. Yeah. And then soaked. But before we that, we couldn't find gas stations. Every gas station we had, we found had 85 or 87. Seven. They so haven't used 85 in California in 20 years. So we've learned it might be a good idea to bring a little octane booster if you're going through these little towns because sometimes that 91 or 92 or 93 or whatever it's hard to come by very hard to come by very hard to come by we did notice that and shit's still on um, um Yes, we, we the first three gas stations we stopped at had 85 and 87. Again, 85 surprised me. Yeah. Because nobody has 85. But the thing is, there were long stretches between gas stations. So at a certain point, you're just thinking, we'll just put 87 in there and go easy on the bikes. Yeah, last gas station, the fourth one, uh, where we were just about ready to buckle to 87, we found 91. Found 91, yeah. filled up there. And that's when it went from sprinkling to it started to rain. I'm like, oh my God, gas station, no cover. So we roll in there, we fill it up real quick. And there's some other guys that were riding. So we had to wait our turn and uh, we got filled up and then we took off and uh, it just started fucking raining. Not sprinkling like they said. Oh, we were soaked. Fucking rain. And windy. Windy, like it is right now. And cold. Right and now. it wasn't even a, it didn't feel like a summer rain. No. It was a uh, cold rain. Well, the guy at this counter said it's going to be summer here. Yeah, it's going to be in the 70s. It's going to be a nice summer day. Yeah, but when we were right through New Mexico and it was scorching hot, then it rained, that felt great. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this one, not so much. So we came in shivering. And our original plan was to camp, do a little tent camping. We knew that was going to go out the window. <laughs> because the tent sites are, are flooded. I yeah. mean, it poured rain. And, uh, yeah, so then we had to find a hotel. and. And the first one we went to were booked, so fortunately we found a couple of rooms. The yeah, second place. Not expensive, nice little place. Uh, I think it's more of a working man. It's got a little desk in there and stuff like that. But it's kind of chilly now. It's low 60s. John's yeah. going to start shaking in a few minutes, aren't you? Mm. Oh, whiskey. Yeah, whiskey. Coffee. So, yeah, so Sturgis. Sturgis, man. Fun adventure. It was, it, I, I think I had low expectations going to it because some of the things I heard from people have been there. It's crowded, it's super, you know, uh, vendors, uh, hard to get around because all the people, expensive, which I didn't really experience that part of it. No. Uh, when well, you come from expensive. Southern California, I think nothing's expensive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it was fun, ran into people we knew uh, both days. Yeah, a lot of free parking places. Yeah. So free parking here. Our goal was park at the very end so it's easy to get out and then walk. But then the second time we went, second day we went, there was parking right in the middle of it. And uh, if you were in someone's way, they're like, hey, let me get out of your way. It was, there was, the energy was all, we're just here to kick it. We're just going to have a good time. Now, mind you, it wasn't midnight. But yeah, now the, we didn't experience the night crowd, which I'm sure it changes a little bit. But it was, what we experienced was great culture. Yeah. Great vibe, great energy, whatever you want to call it. So good time. So yeah, it, it I, to be honest, it exceeded my expectations because last or a couple years ago we went, we came here a month before the rally, yep. and that was fun because it was close enough to where everything was pretty much open. Yep. They, they still had some crowds, but they were small. Yeah. And the riding was great. The riding was phenomenal. Yeah. So we, big we didn't do any really any riding this time. We, just, we went to the Boar's Nest, yeah, which Boar's was up past Deadwood. Deadwood, yeah. Yeah, that was that was really neat. You get a chance to go to the Boar's Nest. Food was good. Ambiance was off the hook. 
place was jam packed again with bikes. But if you start rolling in, they're like, where? You know, they'll, they'll point it, almost point it out for you. Everybody's just, yeah. they're just, everybody's there for the same reason: booze, food, and ride, and fun. And that's it. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's no. We we experienced zero stress. Yeah. Um, saw someone sit on the side. The bike was over the edge, and you know, hopefully they're okay. But beyond that, no no stress. Uh, Full throttle saloon was off the hook. Um, yeah. Buffalo Chip off the hook. That's where we met Kiwi Mike uh, for a charity event. And charity, we yep. Ran into Sugar Bear. Sugar Bear. Got to meet him in person. Seen him on TV a bunch of times. Got to meet him in person. Shook his hand. Um, yeah. And the vendors, I mean, they're, they're other vendors. They're there to make money, but no one was rude. No one was uh, pushy. No. And great people watching, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Love the people there, man. They just show up and kind of let it all hang last, out in a sense. The last lady that stopped us, because you pop up the GoPro, people want to say hi. You know, whether it's men or women, the last lady, I think she said she was 77. I've been coming here for a year, I'm 77, boom! <laughs> fucking Yeah, and, the, and we met a, a couple of characters. This is their, what, 31st? That was their fourth, the, the couple or the two guys. The two guys with I the long that beards. I thought was 40th. Well, maybe, because yeah. I, I asked them, I go, how old were you when you came here for the first day? They said 25. Yeah. And they were far from 25. Yeah. Kind of like us. We're far from 25. Hey, hey, hey. Well, Not mentally. No, we're 14. Right. We're still far from 25. Right. Just the, <laughs> the other, other direction. Way. Yeah, we met those. Those guys were, we just stopped them. They're like, because they had that look, you know, the big beard, the long hair. On Minnesota, the they're from Minnesota, Michigan. Minnesota, Michigan, yep. And because so. of Sturgis, they became friends. Yeah, so. I mean, blast, I would recommend it. If you're in the bikes, I'd recommend it. And they, people, I know people are gonna ask, what was your favorite bike? I don't know. There was thousands of my favorites, you know? Yeah. And you can see on our video, John, especially when John walked up to the top of that stairs and videotaped down, you think this is just a picture they take every year to tell everybody, no, that's it. And that was 11 in the morning. Yep. It wasn't even crowded yet, you know? Just filling up. Yeah. So Sturgis, blast, fun. Um, cops, though, they're on point, so you got to be careful. Obey the laws. And I noticed pretty much everybody did. Yeah. When we went from downtown to uh, full throttle, pretty much everybody was going over the speed limit. They were right at that, whatever, 45 miles an hour, whatever yeah. the speed limit was. And, uh, so obviously the, the cops make their point that they're not gonna, they're gonna run a tight ship is what they're gonna do. Uh, so yeah, so just my advice is just be careful, obey the laws, don't give them a reason to pull over, uh, pull you over. And if they do pull you over, they will ask you about drinking. So just yeah. heads up on that one. We've heard from a few different people, you know, make sure you stop at a stop sign. That's one of the biggest ones is you roll a stop, they pull you over. If you've done nothing wrong, you're just inconvenienced then. If, you, if you're at a beer or seven, no, it might be more than inconvenient, so yeah, I'd be careful. Follow the law, stop the stop sign, speed limit says 45, do 45. Um, when you get on the big rides again, we didn't go on any of the rides because it, when we first got here, we weren't even here yet. We were in that little town, Lead or something about like that. About 50 miles out, yeah. Yeah, about 50 miles out, and some guy's like, careful, there's a speed trap down there, and if you guys are gonna do the runs, I already heard there's a bunch of wrecks on the needle. So it's like you know, we, we we did that two years ago. We're just here to enjoy the spectacle. Yeah, spect we've never been to the event, so yeah. that's to check that one off the box, I guess. And that's the only reason we're in North Dakota, just so we can say we've been to North Dakota. Because we've never been to North Dakota. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, cold, gloomy. Um, yeah. Ooh, a lot of warm down a in between. Sturgis in here. Yeah, it was a ride, and then the hardest part, I think, I think what makes it a little difficult is, like, if you're riding to, to Vegas, or you're riding to Arizona, or you're riding up, to, you know, five in California, and you, you like, it's cold and wet. Let's just stop for cover. None. Nothing. You're, there's, there's not towns. even a shoulder on the road. No, most of the road. Not even a place to stop. And, and the, 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 if you did pass a town, it was a population of a hundred, hundred-ish or less. And then none of the gas stations had covers. So it was just like, we're not stopping. But since if we're gonna get wet, let's get wet moving, you know? <laughs> so, but yeah, I got there, we were, I literally both, I, I was shivering and he yeah, said he was yeah, shivering. Yeah, it was cold. And, uh, yeah. 
So from here we go to uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Again, our original plan is to do a little tent camping there. So I think the weather's going to be, I think there's going to be a lot less moisture. So we're going to be able to actually camp. Well, yeah, because I, I mean, I checked three days, three or four days before we left and it said like 30% chance of light sprinkles. And then this morning, 70% chance of light precipitation. And the rain, there's puddles still everywhere. And yeah. it's just, the roads were soaked. And, the diesels in front of us were throwing up water and yeah so and we're going to meet up with a friend and we're going to go to this chicken fried chicken place where you eat your chicken and then when you're done you don't throw away the bones you just hand them to the raccoons so that's going to be a little interesting excited about that yeah 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 um, and then from omaha we're going to texas going to yeah farmersville texas farmersville yeah. texas yeah we want to see we want to both stop and see the x where kennedy got shot. yeah we'll do that yeah and we're going to visit his uh, daughter and son-in-law and grandkids. Grandkids, as they call him, Uncle Burkle. Yep. Well, one right? claims me. One's on the on the best uncle. Yeah. The other one says he's not your uncle. Yeah. She's getting too technical. And then the third one's too young to decide. <laughs> yeah. So if you give her a piece of candy, she you're whatever she wanted to be. I'll be your uncle. So, two days there, and then from there to Roswell, New Mexico, check out some UFO stuff. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna go to a bar where people show up to tell their UFO stories. Yeah, it's on TV. It's called yeah. uh, UFO Sightings, I think it is. Um, in fact, I'll look that up while you're talking. So, so yeah, so we're either gonna make up a story or maybe we have a story by the time we get there. Um, and then, yeah, so then, then we'll be there for a day. And then from there, we, we're going to attempt to head back to Southern California. With the heat and the, the stretch, it's like 860 miles. I guess we'll see if that works out or not. Uh, but that's the plan. I'm trying to find it. UFO storytelling bar. Reservations. There it is. Variety Liquor and Lounge. Yes. Uh, it's the bar in Roswell where they do the, uh, yeah, the, uh, what is it called? Alien abductions or whatever, but yeah, we'll be there, we'll do that. We'll check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's totally fine. So. That's it. They, well, no, the big ride, Roswell to home. Yeah, uh, talk about that. We're going to try that 870 the miles, heat. basically. I think we could, if it was great weather, we, 860s, that's not the... Big scary part. It's the I think the heat that's going to make that tough. Yeah. So we'll we'll find out. We'll let you guys know when we land on that one. We'll let you know. so we're hoping to get there Saturday. That gives us Sunday to rest and then back to work. So like we grind on Monday. Yeah. yeah so. All right. Well. Y'all. Right. Thanks for watching.